Hello everybody, today we're going to find the derivative of this function using the definition of derivative. Using the definition of derivative, f prime x becomes equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So the derivative then becomes, in our example here, is the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h. So I'm going to have to replace x with x plus h. So this becomes 2.5x plus h squared plus 6x plus h. So this is the first one here, f of uh, f x plus h minus f x, which is this function, minus 2.5x squared plus 6x divided by h. Okay. Now what we have to do is we need to simplify this. Okay. So what do we get? Uh, we need to expand this first. The limit as h approaches 0. 2.5, that becomes x squared plus uh, 2hx plus h squared. Now, if you recall, x plus h squared uh, uh, or x plus y squared is the same as x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Or you could have, if you wanted to done this, if this is what you like, you could have done that as well and do the FOIL. Okay, this is a little bit of a review here. All right, so this becomes this once we expand it. Now distributing six, we get plus six X plus six H minus 2.5 X squared minus six X divided by H. Now distributing the 2.5 here, the limit as h approaches 0, that's 2.5 times x squared, that's 2.5x squared, 2.5 times 2hx, 2.5 times 2, that's 5hx plus 2.5h squared plus 6x plus 6h minus 2.5x squared minus 6x over h. 2.5x squared cancels with negative 2.5x squared. You have 6x here, cancels with minus 6x. And you are left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 5hx plus 2.5h squared plus 6h, 6h over h. Now, if we factor out the h from the numerator, we get the limit as h approaches 0 of factoring h, we get uh, what's left is 5x. Remember, 5hx divided by h will be left with 5x plus 2.5h squared divided by h. You'll be left with 2.5h plus factoring h from here, you'll be left with 6 divided by h. This h cancel with this h. Now you'd be left with the equal to the, the limit as h approaches 0 of um, 5x plus 2.5h plus 6. We could have used a direct substitution here, but that's okay. When we plug in h here, what are you left with? You'd be left with 5x plus this becomes 0. 2.5 times 0, that's 0, plus 6. So the result is... The answer is 5x plus 6. We just found the derivative of this function using the definition of the derivative, 5x plus h. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.